Okay, I'm back with a reading and this one is for you as soon as the video is uploaded and visible on this channel I will send you the link um, I'm using the Lorenzo Tarot so thank you for giving me the opportunity to work with this deck and I want to start with picking a random significator to get a grip or get a view on um, a card that describes you or gives me information about what's very important in your life. And um, I'm just going to shuffle the cards and take my time and get into the zone. Now let's just make a little van like this. And I'm going to feel my way through the cards. Um, um, let's see. I always have the feeling to vend them back. I don't know why, but... This one, King of Pentacles. So you are very practical and very down to earth. But you can also be a little bit grumpy. And let me just feel what's going on here in your case. So um, wealth is very important to you, money, leadership, business. Very practical, down-to-earth information. You have the ability to create material wealth. I think that money is something that is super important to you. And you want that to last forever. And that's close to your heart. And when you think, you think about money and security and safety, material success. And I think this is not only for you, but also for the ones you love. And... It's very dominant, very precious, very serious. Financial security, uh, accumulation of money and wealth, abundance in earthy things, um, pride in taking pride in what you've achieved and accomplished in the material world. Um, I do sense a little bit of collecting or hoarding. But I might be wrong, just say so if I am. Um, I think there's money, money, money in your head. And you don't want to be that person that is a Scrooge. I think you try hard to give the impression that you have compassion and that you care. But if you care, it's um, about uh, giving somebody practical advice about how to achieve the same or how to do, to do the same as you do. You have come a very long way. You have battled and uh, fought for all the things that you have right now. Um, it's just a very stern card that doesn't leave much room open for spirituality or emotions. It's very money and business and uh, wealth related. So that's <coughs> you. And then we go to uh, the sacrifices that you had to make. To get where you are, rich and in control, safe. Um, let's take two cards. So let's see, let me just, this one pops out quite nicely. A 
about sacrifices and the past and your the road ahead eight of cups is in this case a beautiful card that did does say that you have sacrificed a lot cups the cups are all about emotions and it's also in your case that you had to give up a more emotional approach of life because there was disappointment and the feeling of loneliness and you felt like you had to escape I think, uh, escape an old life and replace it with something new. And the emotions didn't work. So you focused more on the material, on the practical, on the grounded. Um, I do feel disappointment, but also a celebration and a feeling of being... <laughs> uh, I'm being a little bit rude or cruel today. Um, Showing that you have the power to leave your emotions in behind and uh, focus on the material. And also I feel a little bit of you being better than other people. I hope this makes sense. So um, here we go to the hangman. You had to literally turn your life around and upside down. Because the steps that you uh, plan to make will make everything super difficult and different so that's the hangman so with this you were willing to sacrifice yourself to find a new life and that resulted in uh, a lot of thing good things you being in control you being in charge you being the boss you being wealthy and wealthier than the people in your past so i'm shuffling the cards here i should do it here so you can see that i'm not cheating um but where this did this all lead to um this one pops up and this one pops up more, quite nicely. So let's take a look at this card, Ten of Swords. Um, it didn't bring you the prosperity and abundance that you hoped for. Um, I know you had a little bit of an issue with all kinds of um, things. So a lot of pain and disappointment and being hurt and i think you also already lost a lot of money um that you are the king is at the end of the row the ten is at the end of the row um here is grounded here is thoughts um I think you were wounded very deeply, betrayed, uh, experiencing loss, being in a crisis, a situation where there was a lot of trauma and um, betrayal even. Too much thinking, too much... Um, I think you sacrificed yourself, you sacrificed your spirituality, you ended up being in charge, and then you got betrayed. There was betrayal, there was loss, there was trauma. This is the Five of Pentacles, where you can see two beautiful peacocks, and it is a pentacle card, so... Again, very earthy. Um, let me feel. Your heart is still there. 
as if you lost hope and you lost a lot of money, I think. Or losing a partner or a friend or a spouse or maybe a child. This is about poverty. Uh, a mindset I think you will never have enough. That you realize that you always lose money and wealth and abundance and maybe physical beauty. But it's hard for you to accept the loss even though it will come back in another form or another way. Um, so there is a lot of disappointment and lack. There is pain, betrayal and trauma. I think you have reached the end of your cycle here. So there is no other choice than to hang yourself again, sacrifice what you have now and replace it with something new. And I want to know if there is something that... Um, things that you have under control... Things that you master. We're going to check what you master. That's the page of swords. That is very being very creative. Playing with new ideas. Trying to find solutions. Which is good in your case. Um, I see a beautiful, playful page. And I feel that you know that you have to change or do something. But you haven't decided yet how to solve your problems. You are curious and you have... Uh, you've, you're trying to find new ways to communicate um, to yourself or to others. Something that you weren't able to do that you aren't able to do now is slowly starting to rise from your consciousness that you need the page of swords to tackle some problems and some issues. So what's ahead? And I'm going to... I hope there is something positive coming out of this reading. I don't know. I have... Really have the feeling that you sacrificed yourself and sacrificed a lot to uh, arrive at your current destination. But that isn't leading to um, a lot of luck right now. Uh, you are tapping into your problem solving skills here. And I want to pull two more cards to see where um, you're going to land. Sort of. Um, and if this isn't working out, then I think we better get you some healing or empowerment. And this is the first one. Strength is you have to, I think... Tap into your creative potential to sort of minimize your desire for material gain and wealth. Um, so it is to, I think in your case, it's necessary to not care too much about the material, but... Grow towards strength and conquering the world in another way. So to get happy. I hope this makes sense. And if you do that, then a whole new world will open up. A whole new world will open up and you will, you know, renew or refresh yourself. Using dance and sensuality and emotion and spirituality and... Um, Things like that, to look at this life as something that's more than about uh, money and the emotions that this brought up. Um, 
So the advice is to use the page and sort of find the strength to look at your life in a different way, to reconquer the world and re-enter the world and look at things in a new and fresh way. So that's it. See you next time. Bye.